Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Mr Breakfield Reads. It is Friday, it is the half-term holidays, and so it is time for Mr Breakfield's half-term holiday quiz. How much do you really know? Okay, so we've got uh, five rounds this time in, the, in my quiz. We have a geography round, we have an anagram round, a picture round, a maths round, and a general knowledge round. Now, in all, we have 30 questions. We're going to start off with the big round, which is round one, which is geography, and that has 30 questions. It'd be really good for you to be competing against other people, of course. That makes it much more fun, and so you can compete against friends, perhaps, and compare the scores that you got with friends. Organise that so they're aware of this as well. If they've not seen it, get in touch, let them know. You might compete against people in your family. You might have teams in your family. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can do this, but I want to see how well you can do. Now, I think you may need some help with some of the questions, but I think most of the questions you should be able to answer, or at least have a go at. Most of them are, th are about things that we've covered this year in school. So, we'll start with round one, and round one is geography. So, geography. Geography, all about the different people and places around the world. So, question one. Question one. This is the flag of which country? This is the flag of which country? So all we need is the country name. Okay, we'll move on. Question two. Look at the list of countries below. There is a country missing. What is it? England, Northern Ireland, Scotland. Look at the list of countries below. There is a country missing. What is it? England, Northern Ireland, Scotland. Question 3. The Eiffel Tower is a world-renowned landmark, but which city is it in? The Eiffel Tower is a world-renowned landmark, but which city is it in? I guarantee all of you have seen the Eiffel Tower in films, in books. You'll definitely know it. But which city is it in? Question four. What is the name of the world's smallest ocean? What is the name of the world's smallest ocean? Just a reminder as well, if I'm going too quick before you, don't forget, just pause the video. Also, try your best with spellings. I'm sure mums and dads can check it. But if you don't get a spelling right, it doesn't mean you can't get a point for the answer, as long as the answer is correct. Question five. This year, the Olympic Games should have been held in Tokyo, Japan. Which continent is Japan in? This year, the Olympic Games should have been held in Tokyo, Japan. Which continent is Japan in? Well, hopefully, the Olympic Games will be held next year in 2021. But of course, this had to be cancelled this year, like lots of other events. Question six. What is the symbol of Yorkshire? A red rose or a white rose? What is the symbol of Yorkshire? A red rose or a white rose? Of course, Yorkshire is the county that we find ourselves in. We find ourselves in West Yorkshire. But what's the symbol of Yorkshire? A red rose or a white rose? Question seven. Which three colours are on the French flag? Which three colours are on the French flag? And we need all three colours for that for the point for this one. There are three colours on the French flag, but what are they? Question eight. Which of these countries is the biggest? 
in South America? Is it A, Brazil, B, Argentina, C, Chile, or D, Bolivia? Which of these countries is the biggest in South America? A, Brazil, B, Argentina, C, Chile, or D, Bolivia? Question nine, a local question now. Which river runs through the city of Leeds? Which river runs through the city of Leeds? You will have all passed it, you'll have seen it many, many times. But what do they call that river that runs right through the city of Leeds? Question 10. Now this is something you will have learnt in year one. So if you're in year one now, you should, have learnt, you should have learnt this by now. And if uh, you're in year two, you definitely know this. What is the capital city of Scotland? What is the capital city of Scotland? Okay. We're going to move on now to round two. Right, round two is something you might not be familiar with. But um, these are called anagrams, what you're going to see in a moment. And basically, they are words whose letters have been jumbled up and you've got to unjumble them to make the words <coughs> again. So you'll understand in a moment <coughs> as we see the first question. So the answer will be in the letters, but you've got to unjumble those letters to find the correct answer. Okay. Question one. Name this fruit. So look carefully at the letters. Those letters can be rearranged to spell the name of a fruit, but what fruit is it? This is probably one that you're going to need to pause on and write down the letters and maybe have a look at them a little closer. Question two. Name this object you might use in the summer. Name this object you might use in the summer. Give you a big clue that you might you would use it in the garden. Question. Three, name this sport. So the letters that you see, they make the name of a sport when they're rearranged. And question four, name this food. Name this food. I'm sure you will all have eaten this particular food before. I'm sure many of you, many of you uh, enjoy it. Question five. Name this item of clothing. So this is something you would wear. I'll tell you that I've seen all of you wear this particular item of clothing before. You would definitely wear this at school. And you would also wear it at home. Okay, question three then. Question, not question three, round three even. Round three is, is the picture round and it is, or that it has, sorry, some pictures that you are going to need to answer questions about. So there are five questions in all, and here we go with question one. Question one, who is this singer? Who is this singer? Question two, which takeaway would you be ordering from if you saw this logo? So 
which takeaway would you be ordering from if you saw this logo? Question three. What is the name of this board game? What is the name of this board game? I'm sure you've all played it. Many of you have played it. If you haven't played it, you've almost certainly seen it. What's its name? Question four. What is the name of this character created by the author, Dr. Seuss? What is the name of this character created by the author, Dr. Seuss? And question five. Name this member of the PJ Masks. Name this member of the PJ Masks. Okay, round four now. Round four is the maths round. Everything you're about to see is what you will have learnt this year if you are in year two. If you're in year one, there might be one or two questions that you need a little bit of help. But I think in the main you should be absolutely fine. There are five questions again. And let's go straight to question one. Question one. How many sides do two pentagons have all together? How many sides do two pentagons have all together? Question two. Complete the number sentence. 19 take away something equals 14. 19 take away something equals 14. Question 3. What is a quarter of 24? What is a quarter of 24? In year 2, it wasn't long before we before we um, came out, came off school since we had looked at Fractions, so we should be good with this one. Question four. True or false? Now you've got to look at this mathematical statement. I can't read it out for you. But is it true or false? What do we think? Is that symbol in the middle? I want you to really think about. What does that mean? And question five, which of these numbers is not in the three times tables? Which of these numbers is not in the three times tables? So some of you, many of you will now be on three times tables if you are in year two. I'm sure you're doing really, really well with times tables rock stars or on hit the button. But which of these numbers is not in the three times table? Okay. Round five is the final, final round. This is general knowledge. So this is going to test lots of different um, parts of your knowledge and things that you know. So let's see. Question one. What is, what is the name of this bird? You've got some options. Is it A, a bluebird? B, a robin? C, a sparrow? Or D, a blue tit? Is it A, a bluebird? B, a robin? C, a sparrow? Or D, a blue tit? Question two. Mrs. Trunchbull is a character in which Roald Dahl book? Mrs. Trunchbull is a character in which Roald Dahl book? Question three. This is the tallest building in the UK. What is it called? This is the tallest building in the UK. What is it called?
Question 4. How many players are in a netball team? How many players are in a netball team? Is it A, 6, B, 7, C, 8, or D, 9? So how many players are there in a netball team? 6, 7, 8, or 9? Question 5. In which street does the Prime Minister of the UK live? So in which street does the Prime Minister of the UK live? I'm going to move on to find out the answers. So we're going to go straight back to round one and find out the answers for the geography round. So round one geography. Um, number one was the United States of America. USA is fine. The US would be okay too. That was the flag, of course. Number two, the missing country was Wales. All of the countries were in the, or made up the United Kingdom, of course. Number three, Paris is where you'll find the Eiffel Tower. Number four, the Arctic Ocean is the smallest ocean, the Arctic Ocean. Number five, Tokyo, Japan was where the Olympic Games are going to be held this year. Japan is in Asia. Number six, the White Rose is the symbol of Yorkshire. Number seven, the French flag is made up of three colours, red, white and blue. Number eight, the largest country in South America is Brazil. It's huge. Number nine, the river that runs right through Leeds is called the River Eyre. And number ten, the capital city of Scotland is Edinburgh. Okay, round two, answers for the anagrams. So the fruit, number one, name of the fruit, was pineapple. The object you use in the summer, in the garden, I gave you the clue, was barbecue. Number three, the sport was badminton. Number four, the food was spaghetti. And number five, the item of clothing was trainers. Okay. It's not essential that you got the spelling right, although all the letters were there. So perhaps you should have done, but still, it's not essential. You can still get the point, even if you didn't quite get the spelling correct. As long as you got the word, and it's very clear that you got that word correct. Num uh, round three, the picture round. So the singer was Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. The takeaway, number two, the takeaway was Domino's. Domino's Pizza. Number three, one of two answers you could get there, drafts or checkers. Some people call it drafts, some people call it checkers. And number four, Cat in the Hat, of course, was the Dr. Seuss character. And number five, PJ Masks, it was Catboy. Now, some PJ, PJ Mask fans might say, well, it was actually Connor, because Connor becomes Catboy. Well, you can have Connor as well, it's fine. So if you've got Catboy, a point. If you've got Connor, you can get a point. Round four. Round four was maths. Now, number one was all about pentagons. Two pentagons together. How many sides do they have? Well, two pentagons. One pentagon has five sides. Two pentagons would have ten sides. Number two, it was 19 take away. Five equals 14. If you think about it, if we... If we split the one, the tens and the ones up and we partition them, nine take away five, nine ones take away five ones is four ones. And you see that we've got four ones in 14. Uh, number three, a quarter of 24 is six. When we quarter, we halve and halve again. Half of 24 is 12 and half of 12 is six. So a quarter of 24 is six. Um, number four, it was false. Well, 3 add 6, if you think about it, 3 add 6 is 9, and 7 add 2 is 9. So 3 add 6 is not greater than 7 add 2, it's equal to 7 add 2. And then, the se and then uh, number 5 was 22. 22 is not in the 3 times table. Again, if you think about it, 21 is in the 3 times table, but not 22. 
and round five, finally. Uh, the picture of the bird, that bird was a blue tit. Matilda is where you would find Mrs Trunchbull. Many of you will have seen the film if you haven't read the book. Both are brilliant. Number three, the tallest building in the UK is in London and it's called The Shard. Number four is seven. There are seven players in a netball team. And number five, the Prime Minister of the UK lives in Downing Street. 10 Downing Street, but you didn't need the number, you just needed the name of the street, so it's Downing Street. Okay, well done boys and girls. A tough quiz, I'm sure you will agree. I would think any score of, let's say, 16 or more is pretty good, because that's over half those questions, and there were some tough ones. If you've got an adult working with you as well, then I would say anything above 20 would be a pretty good score as well. But I would imagine that um, you've done, you did rather well. And if you did, let me know what scores you got. I'd be, I'd be uh, very interested to find out. In the meantime, um, tell your friends about it if you've, uh, if they've not played it or you think they might be interested. But also, I will see you on Sunday when we will be reading our chapter book. So, if, um, before that, stay safe. Happy reading, happy quizzing, and enjoy the sunshine. Bye, boys and girls.